Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be continuing off our last video of the AI. Um, this one's going to be a bit more advanced with some attacking and possibly some stats, stuff like that. Um, if you haven't watched the last video, please do so. It's only four minutes long, it's not long at all. And just to catch up with us here, because we will be continuing off of it. So that being said, let's get into it. Um, last video we made our character pretty much chase our player and once we left this bubble they would kind of run back to where they started so now we're gonna make it that they attack us and all that's happening in the background as well but now with some combat so I'm gonna go to our chase trigger here I'm actually just gonna rename it um, attack because this will be our attack trigger now I'm gonna delete the restart instructions so we have our character moving to our player once we arrive we are going to set the speed of the enemy we're gonna bring it down to point one we are going to play a gesture on the same character and I'm using the melee warrior animation pack I believe it's free so I'm just gonna put any any animation in there this is your time to use whatever animation you want if you're making a zombie game or something have a zombie swing in here uh, I'm guessing you know how to change your animation they're walking so all that will add up um, after the attack we will wait about a quarter of a second and then we will change the character's speed back to, I think it was 3, not 4. So, add that back for our enemy. And then we'll restart our instruction. Now that should work. Let me give this a quick test. Alright, so they're chasing us. They're attacking us. That's good. I run away. They start chasing again. And if I get out of the bubble, they should run back to where they started. Alright. Let me just double check that it works for a second time. Okay. Beautiful. So I might add a rotation instruction in there just because it's not always lined up with me. But we know that works now, so I'm going to quickly squeeze a rotation in here set character rotation. I'm going to slide it up to right before the attack. Character, character, character. And we are going to look at target player. Quick test. Yeah, that's more like it. Alright, so that's all in play now. Um, let's see, what else can we do? I think I'm going to add like a little health bar to the enemy. So, I'm going to add traits. I, th this, I mean, if you don't have stats too for Game Creator, this is the end of the video for you. You have an enemy that attacks you. Um, but if you do have stats too, carry on. Oh, I don't even think I have it installed. Hold on. That's to import. Sorry, this might take a second. I don't know how I don't have this in already. Alright. Now that that's installed, let's go to our character. We're going to add traits. There it is. So now we need to create some uh, things for this. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it stats. And if you haven't used stats before, this is... I'm going to show you how to get started on it here. So we're going to go to Game Creator. No. Create. And then Game Creator. Stats. We're going to start off with a class. I'm going to call this AI. OK. 
Okay. Go to the same thing. Game creator stats. Now I'm going to create a stat. We're going to call this max HP. I'm also going to call the stat ID max HP. Don't forget to change that ID because it will get confusing. I'm going to give them a base of about 100. All right, and then one more stat we got to create. And this will be under attribute. This will be just HP. And then attribute ID is also HP. And then you're going to drag the max HP up to the max value here. Okay? So that's all done. We're going to go to our AI and we're going to add both of these to it. HP, max HP. And then our character here, we're going to add the AI class to it. There we go. So if you want to change the stats on the fly, you can set it. It was 100. I'm going to leave it at 100. But if I if you didn't check this off, it will be 100 automatically. So if you wanted 1,000, there's 1,000. And the start percent, if it's at 1, it will be at 1,000. If it's at 0.5, it will be 500, etc. So we're going to leave it at full. OK, I'm going to save there. And I'm just going to quickly play it and show you guys. There, HP a thousand out of a thousand. Um, now for the character, we are going to create. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, so I am going to add under the character. We're going to create a canvas. And we're going to change it to world space and drag our main camera to it. I'm going to recenter it to our character and we're going to change all this stuff down to like maybe 5 and then 15. I'm going to create a panel. And we're going to change this down so we can't see that. Okay, under the panel, we're going to create a image, and we're going to change this down as well. All right, so this will be our player's health bar. And under the panel, I'm going to add a trigger. And this trigger is going to rotate, change rotation of self to look, look at target. It's going to look at oh, our main camera. And I don't know if this is correct. We're going to test it and try it after, but I'm just going to change this. Yeah, you know what? We're going to test it as it is. And if the health bar rotates, actually, I screwed that up. We're going to rotate to main camera and then wait 0.1 seconds restart instruction there we go now we're gonna try that and if this white bar rotates towards the camera then I think we got it oh yeah so it's a little choppy with the 0.1 second in there so I'm gonna see if I can take that out see if that changes anything yeah it does okay so we're gonna keep that 0.1 second in there Maybe I can go point, point zero 0.05 instead. Maybe that will be a bit smoother. Yep, that works. Okay. 
So, we're just going to adjust this image a little bit. I'm going to make it a little smaller. 0.1 looks good. I'm going to make this black with an opacity of about 50. Okay, I'm going to rename this Health Background. I'm going to create an empty under panel. We're going to call this Health. I'm going to drag background into Health. And I'm going to duplicate background. I'm going to rename it Health Bar. I'm going to make this red and fully. There we go. Now we are going to need to make a, this into an image in order to have a fill on it. So none of these won't work. So I'm going to quickly, I'll be right back. I'm going to install another package. It's basically, it gives me more images, shapes and stuff. You can find these packages for free anywhere on the asset store. Every, a lot of things have them. So I'm going to quickly do that. All right, so I've just installed the clean flat icons pack. This comes with a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so now we can add our picture. So I'm going to click or select both of them and I'm going to add a square. I'm just going to type in square. There we go. That way they're the same. So, under health bar now that it, we have an icon, we can change the image type. So, I'm going to change it to filled. I'm going to set it to horizontal. That way we can go up and down with it. So, that works. Um, under health, I'm going to add a attribute UI. This is going to be for our enemy, so we're going to change this over to the enemy, not the player. The attribute will be HP. And let's see, the value, or no, the fill image will be health bar. Okay. And let's just give this a quick test. You can't really test the health going down. I'm going to add a button to just give it more testing. Okay. In fact, you know what? I am going to, I'm going to set health to false. I'm going to make it appear when we enter the combat trigger. So on trigger enter, set active attack to true and also set active health to true. And then same down here, set active health false. Perfect. Now, I'm going to create a button. This is just a, just a test button. Game creator, button text mesh pro. All right, so this button, we're going to just move it over here. I'm going to delete the text here. And I might just change the image so I know it's something that, because I might have a few cheat buttons eventually throughout this little mini series within a tutorial series, because this is probably going to be the second video out of three. For the third video, I'm going to put like an actual combat system in, but for now, here, I'm just going to do this for the damage. All right, so this, you totally don't have to do this. If this works on my end, then it will work on your end no matter what. This is just for testing purposes, so we are going to change attribute of the character that attribute being HP we're gonna subtract it by 5 save that alright let's test this alright so no health bar until we get in the area and if I hit this you can see the health bar is slowly going down. I forgot I set it to a thousand, so it's gonna be a while before we get there, but yeah. It's a working HP bar for an enemy. Now, our character doesn't wanna seem to work right now. What is happening?
good. Something broke somewhere, and I'm trying to figure out where. Maybe I'll move the health up one. Okay. So that works still. Okay, so he's working. I notice he doesn't rotate back normally. He He's still looking at me, so I'm going to fix that as well. So, on disable, we're going to set rotation. Of the character. To pivot. So that's already done. Alright. Try this now. So he attacks me. He should turn around to go back. And then we'll test the health damage right now again. Okay, let's pretend this is me attacking him. So he's almost dead. I'm gonna retreat though. So he's still chasing me. And is still chasing me. Huh. This is very interesting. Let me just double see here. Okay, so it it does work. It's a little glitchy. It might be something you have to rearrange, like this down here or something like that, but a little fine tuning, it should be fine, but if you use this for now, it will work. just all takes a little practice and time so for now we'll use this system because it, it does seem to work yeah okay so yeah that is pretty much it for this video so we got an enemy that will chase us attack us has a functioning health bar um, I'm probably gonna make a part three of this mini AI tutorial and in that part I will have health damage on my character attacking on my character so we can actually have a little combat and when one of our health reaches zero we'll die and that will be that so yeah i will see you guys in the next one